Hello everybody. Uh, today we will discuss harmonic minor scale tone tendency. So we discussed the same topic in major scale and also in natural uh, minor scale. So the tones in a scale actually have their own different um, tendency to go in a certain direction. Just a quick recap. For example, the B, the second of the de of the uh, the second degree of the scale, wants to resolve down a whole step to A. It is relatively weak compared to half steps because uh, whole steps is a uh, is uh, is a larger interval, so the attraction is smaller. So I always reason that way. So B has a resolution point to A. It points to uh, it wants to resolve to A. Okay, but this is it's a uh, relatively weaker than half steps. D, in the same case, it wants to, the fourth, wants to go to the flat three. It wants to resolve to flat three. But it's also a weak um, tendency, a weaker tendency than the half steps because whole steps is a wider interval and uh, the attraction is then smaller. All right. E, you can resolve that down to A and uh, you can also uh, let it just stay put. So we have a new note here, F. F would resolve down a half step to E, and it is actually a very strong resolution here. It has a strong tendency to go to E because of the fact that it's only a half step apart here. So let's go to G sharp, our new note in harmonic minor scale. And for G sharp, it is a half step down from the root. So it has a very strong resolution to go up. So it is a uh, the harmonic minor sound is a sound that is established in classical music, where um, composers want to make people feel that the root is more home, and uh, that's why they raised the major seven to uh, they raised the flat seven to a major seven, you know, in order to achieve that effect. All right. So that's the uh, all the tone tendency here. So the only difference between harmonic minor scale and natural minor scale tone tendency would be this note here. This one has a stronger tendency to, to resolve to A in the case of harmonic minor. So let's quickly work out two more examples. Uh, e minor. So let's write out the uh, scale first. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and then the D sharp, E again. Okay, so let's uh, work out all the tone tendency. Um, D sharp to E, and then the C would be the flat seven, right? So it wants to go to the uh, fifth. The fifth, you can resolve that down to E. Actually, you can always uh, resolve up to up fourth. That's the same thing, okay? Or you can just stay the fourth. Go down to the uh, would go down to the uh, flat three. Sorry, it should be a uh, dotted line. So let me do that, and an up sharp dotted line down to E. All right. So for for neatness' sake, so root two flat three fourth fifth flat six major seventh, and then root again. All right. Let's work out one more. Let's uh, go to D minor. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. That should be B flat. All right. Harmonic minor, so C sharp here. Again, major seven up to the root, flat six down to the fifth. Fifth, resolve it down to the root, and uh, or you can stay. Fourth, going to the third. Major second, going to the root. So again, um, just a seven. Just a number seven means that we are dealing with the major seventh interval here. All right, so that's it. I would see you in the next video where we talk about uh, five-one resolutions. A very important topic again. So see you there.